Here now with Siena basketball head coach Mitch Bonaguro. The Saints will play Iona on January 3rd at Madison Square Garden. Mitch, what was your initial response to the news? Well, I was elated, Andrew. I think it's a tremendous opportunity for our basketball program to play in really the world's most famous arena, um, not only for our team, but our alumni and, and student body and, and fan base um, will certainly relish the fact that, you know, uh, it, it doesn't come along very often. It's a, it's a place that, you know, I have fond memories of. I've played there. I've coached there with other schools. So I'm, I'm really uh, excited about the opportunity. Madison Square Garden, of course, the home of the New York Knicks. What will it mean for the kids on this team to play there? Well, we have a lot of, uh, you know, New York uh, metropolitan New Jersey kids, and they, they see the Garden all the time on TV, and they probably, several of them have played there, maybe in high school. It's a, uh, it's just a place you want to, you want to play. It's, it's, it's the most famous arena. I think guys uh, will, you know, look at it and say, wow, you know, this is an opportunity that, that's good, it doesn't come along very often. Um, Siena has not played there in a while, so it's certainly something that we, you know, we're excited about in terms of going back to the Garden. We had some great memories there in the NIT uh, in the 90s. So for a lot of reasons, it's, it's a great opportunity. Siena's got plenty of alumni in the New York City area. What will it mean to see a big green and gold presence at MSG? Well, you know, these alumni uh, down in that area follow our program. They're basketball people. They, they live... Um, they live in an area where basketball is very big, so when they go, when they heard, you know, the ones I've talked to, when they heard they were playing there, they're going to bring friends, and hopefully we will we'll get a great turnout. Uh, I know, John, uh, we're going to publicize it and get the word out to a lot of people that, you know, this is a special evening, and uh, we hope uh, we get a great turnout from our great fan base. Finally, what are some of your fondest memories of playing or coaching at the Garden? Well, I've got several. I played there in high school. Uh, when I was at Bishop Lachlan, uh, you know, that was a trip before St. John's game. I then played there in the NIT when I was at BC. That was a great memory. We got to the Final Four of the NIT when the NIT was really uh, the tournament back in the 70s and got a chance to play against uh, Tiki Burden, a local player from uh, the University of Utah, went on to play in the NBA. Um, I just, you know, I remember just the, the, the elation I had being a New York City kid playing there and then coached uh, several times in the Garden when I was at Villanova, uh, most notably in the Big East Tournament, and then I also coached uh, in the Holiday Festival, and actually when I was at Villanova, we beat a very good Bob Knight Indiana team, so um, we've, you know, I've had success there coaching as an assistant. Uh, I did coach there when I was a head coach at Fairfield. We beat Holy Cross in a, in a, in a game uh, when, when I was coaching at Fairfield, so I've had success there, and I've had great memories about the building.